Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to take a look at installing a VNC viewer on a Fire tablet. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick, before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So you might be wondering why I'm doing a video on an Amazon Fire tablet. It uh, doesn't really seem to have anything to do with ham radio or the Raspberry Pi. And at first glance, you would be correct on that. However, there's a lot of guys that utilize the Fire tablet to connect to their Raspberry Pi when they're in the field. And if you just picked up a brand new one on Amazon's uh, Prime Deal Days, you probably grab that for about 80 bucks. But it's not exactly straightforward as to exactly how we install the VNC viewer on the Fire Tablet. If you go over to uh, the store that's on the Fire Tablet, uh, you might not realize that Amazon runs their own proprietary store. You don't actually get the full Google Play Store out of the box with a Fire Tablet. So uh, if you do a search in Amazon Store, you can come up with a VNC viewer uh, or VNC client. However, it's not compatible with the Raspberry Pi, or at least I've never found a way to make those two connect. So uh, it takes just a couple of minutes to get the, uh, the real VNC viewer installed on the Fire Tablet. There's a few little things we have to do to make it happen, but it's not that difficult at all. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Fire Tablet and I'll walk you through it. Okay, over on the Fire Tablet, the first thing you want to do, and guys, I apologize, I don't have screen capture software installed on the Fire Tablet, so I'm just using my phone and got it pointed at the screen, but I think it will uh, do for today's little short tutorial. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you want to come down and find your settings. Inside the settings, you're going to choose security and privacy. And then under here, you're going to look for apps from unknown sources and make sure that you turn that on. Uh, so you can tell that it's on because it's uh, highlighted with a little orange indicator there. All right, after we've done that, let's go ahead and open up the Silk browser on the Fire tablet. Once you've opened the Silk browser on the tablet, you want to navigate to APK mirror.com alpha papa kilo mirror.com once you get over here you're going to uh, choose the search box right up here in the top right corner and you're going to key in vnc viewer once you do that go ahead and press the enter button on the keyboard and give it just a second to uh, search for those results once uh, the search results come back You'll look at this right here, and this is dated November the 7th of 2019. That's the latest one that we've got. So let's go ahead and click the little down arrow right beside that and give that page just a couple of seconds to load up. Now, don't be led astray here. There's a lot of advertisements and things like that on this page. Uh, there's no need to click these start buttons that you see on the page. Uh, those are advertisements that will lead you uh, astray here and not give you uh, what you're looking for. What you want to do is scroll down to this little box right here where it says download, and you'll see it's got one little blue link right there. Let's click on that, and that will load another page for us. Let's go ahead and start scrolling down the page until you see the blue button that says download the APK. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're going to get a little warning on the bottom of the screen. It says, do you want to download this? I'll go ahead and choose to download it. And it takes it just a couple of seconds to download. Once it downloads, you will be able to click the open button. Uh, it's a little red uh, open indicator right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to click install takes it just a couple of seconds to get everything installed 
and then we'll have it working on uh, on the tablet. So we'll just go ahead and click done here. We'll press the little circle down here to get back to our home screen. Scroll down and you should see the VNC viewer on your home page. Now you're ready to connect up. So uh, I'll go ahead and click through these and just go ahead and click get started. And at this point, you can simply click the green button down here in the corner and give it your Pi's IP address. That should get you connected up to your Raspberry Pi. All right, guys, I hope you found this one helpful. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.